Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here, and thanks for dropping by my little shack in the corner for a ham shack chat. This time we're going to be looking at making your map over there match your QSO. A lot of times when you're working, you've got your map set, and all of a sudden you'll be working something that's off the map. This setting will automatically expand or contract your map so that you'll be able to see your QTH and the distant stations QTH. Uh, whether it's in the next county over or the next state over or across the country or around the world, your map will expand to show you your, uh, your signal path between the two points. Now let's talk about how you actually do this. It's pretty simple. Before I show you how to actually do this, which is probably overly simplified, uh, I'm going to show you uh, a quick tour of what's going on here. I've got my colors set up here. These bright pinks are new DXCC countries to me. If it was a faded pink, it would be a new DXCC country on the band uh, and mode. Uh, blues are stations that I haven't worked. Green are stations that I have worked. Uh, the dark brown is a new uh, grid and the light brown is a new grid on the band. Uh, down here, uh, this is my call roster. These are all the stations uh, that I'm hearing. Uh, right now I'm only asking for stations that are calling CQ and uh, I could set a minimum DB which you can see shortened up of that list uh, but we'll leave that open. Uh, and there's a lot of other things you can do down here but you can go look at my uh, the video where I covered call roster on what all that can do. Uh, I'm going to click fewer controls that gets rid of all of that and just shows me my list. Uh, now, uh, the first thing you want to do, this is the how-to part of the video, is we're going to zoom in and set, uh, and you can set this for however, ever how you want. This will become my default uh, map. Uh, in other words, when Enable TX is off, this is what will be shown. So now I'm going to go to uh, Settings. I'm going to select Fit Map to QRZ. And that's all I'm doing there. That's all there is to it. You'll notice I do have my PSK spot paths on, however I've turned it off down here to lessen the amount of noise on the on the map. We'll close that and I am going to try to find a station that I want to work. Here's a new listing and I'm going to go and try to work W5 LPL or WLP. Uh, you can see that now here's my QTH, here's his QTH, my map has zone, uh, zoomed in to give me both ends and uh, hopefully he comes back to me and you'll see it again. I don't have a reply from him once I get a reply, which just happened. Uh, he sent me a minus 12, I'm sending him a plus 10, but now we're locked and you can see the map has zoomed to show both of our QTHs. Uh, we'll let this complete. So I can show you what happens when uh, you, your TX enable goes away. And it's coming. Uh, you can also see down here I've, I, I, my, it's been uh, flagged. And I'm going, okay, I'm still, still working on it. Uh, but I'm working to Texas in Tarrant County. Uh, another cool thing to have. So uh, let's see if he uh, gives me a rah 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 
or a uh, RR73 or uh, otherwise confirms that he's done it. Okay, RR73, he's now completed. You can see that I have zoomed back. That's because my TX enabled has gone off. I am actually transmitting right now uh, because I started it before it went. But uh, if I decide to do this, it's going to zoom in and it is going to stay there until I turn my TX enable off. So if I go to CQ, I'm zoomed in. Uh, that's an irritating thing that I wish the uh, good folks out of Grid Tracker would fix on the map. Uh, go, you know, once you go back to your default, stay at your v default. Uh, but uh, that's how you do it, and that's how to make your map fit your QSO. It's all fun, and uh, well, you know, like they say, all fun and games until somebody gets hurt. Fun and games, and girls. Well, I'm not sure how useful this will be to you. I find it somewhat useful. Thanks for dropping by my little shack in the corner for a ham shack chat. Uh, this time, showing you how to make your map match your queso. If you enjoyed this, uh, please give me a like. Please like me. Please. Uh, you know how. You know, pop that little thumbs up icon. And uh, please share this with your friends out there who are uh, interested in WSJTX, uh, FT8, FT4, Grid Tracker. Sharing is fun. All these things work together well. And uh, then also please uh, leave a comment down, down below. Questions? Comments? I love to hear from you, even if it's just to say, hi Tom, please consider subscribing. I subscribe to Team Beat. With that said, uh, I'm Tom, ND3N, always at your service, 73, and I'm out.